Good morning Internet, Adam Bate here from WebSaversHosting.ca and this morning we're going to do just a quick demo video for you and today's video will be on setting up and optimizing Spam Assassin within the Plesk 9 hosting environment um, so that you receive as few spam messages in your inbox as possible. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and log into the Client Center if you're already in a client with us. Um, once you're in here underneath hosting plans, again, you can click on access Plesk. And if you're not a client with us, you'll be joining us right at the, uh, the Plesk 9 dashboard here. Uh, so once you reach the, the Plus 9 environment, go ahead and click on Domains. And we're going to choose the domain name that you want to set up the, uh, the spam filter for. And in this case, it's websaversdemo.com. If you have multiple domains here, you can just choose the one that you want to set it up for. Uh, we're going to click on Mail Accounts. Uh, and under mail accounts, we're going to choose the email address that we want to enable the spam filter for. Now, when I created the video for um, for creating an email address or an email account in Blast 9, I went through sort of enabling the spam assassin uh, spam filter. But this video, we're going to take it just a step further um, to optimize it a little bit and to, to explain exactly um, you know how to get the most out of, uh, out of spam assassin. So go ahead and click on the, the email address. And then we're going to click on spam filter here. Now, if you're on our shared server, either Bazel or Time, uh, both of those are running Plesk 9. Um, in those instances, spam filter will be there. Spam Assassin is installed. Uh, if you have a VPS um, or sort of another dedicated server or private server with us, um, spam filter might not be there by default, but just open a ticket with us and we can make sure uh, that Spam Assassin is in fact installed on your server. So go ahead and click on Spam Filter once you're in here. First thing that we're going to want to do is switch on Spam Assassin Spam Filtering. Uh, can't do much with it unless it's, unless it's on and running. Um, and underneath Spam Assassin Settings, um, we're going to do just a couple of uh, things. The first being uh, the score that the message must receive to qualify as spam. Uh, now, de by default, this is set to 7. Uh, what we've noticed is that 7 lets through still quite a bit of spam. Um, messages, everyday messages that you'd send back and forth uh, for work or even personal um, probably come in with a score much less than 1. Um, so to raise the bar as high as 7, you'd be letting in a little bit of spam. Uh, what we recommend is, is in the 3 to 4 range. Uh, now that may flag some false positives, uh, but for the most case, um, it catches a whole lot more spam uh, without sort of letting it through the cracks. Um, now also you'll want to set up a way to identify the messages as spam. Uh, in this case, uh, in the field, add the following text to beginning of subject of each message recognized as spam. By default, it's just four asterisks, uh, four stars, the, me this, the word spam, and then four stars again. Um, that's, that's perfect. What you can do with this is you can take it a step further and if you're using Outlook or Mac Mail um, or maybe you're forwarding this to, to your Gmail account or, or what have you, you can set up rules um, so that these messages get automatically moved to like a quarantine folder where you can go and just review them to make sure they are all in fact spam. Um, or you can just, server side, we can delete spam mail when it comes to the mailbox. So if you check that off, um, it, every spam messages that you get that are marked with this and that are flagged by Spam Assassin will be automatically deleted when they, when they hit your mailbox. Um, probably, you know, a good thing to do down the road, but when you're first starting out, um, you know, optimizing this and trying to get this going, I wouldn't recommend checking that off because you want to make sure that the number you choose works for your account, uh, your business, and your industry, um, and that you're not sort of deleting false positives that come through uh, into your email. Uh, so changing that to a 3, uh, you can even push it down as low as a 2.5, 2 um, and for some industries, 4. Uh, and I guess what the score is, is that you know the score is given for a whole different number of reasons. So say, for example, the, the content of the email. Um, now, as you're probably familiar, if it has anything to do with like drugs or a casino or gambling, um, you know that's, that's a good indication that it, it's possibly spam. So there's Based on the content, it'll give it a score. Based on the subject, it'll get a score. Uh, based on um, you know whether or not the email is um, a free email account or um, 
uh, or originating from an original domain name uh, could be depending on the email address of the sender uh, and whether or not that is listed in any spam database or ever has been listed in any spam database. Um, there's just a number, whole bunch and number of reasons. You know, the the country of origin of the message um, and sort of each one of these uh, criteria get sort of scored to give you an overall score from spam assassin so the the higher the score the more likely the spam and the higher the score uh, the worse the message sort of thing um, but that's basically where the score comes from and sort of lowering that uh, and keeping a tight net on that will will get you uh, or will catch most of the spam so that's really all there is to optimizing spam assassin as far as just the very basic thing uh, we'll go into using blacklist and whitelist and even sort of training this um, down the road a little bit but for the sake of this uh, this video this is how you sort of set up and best optimize out of the gate uh, the spam assassin for your email address hope that helps uh, if you are a client of ours and you, you need a hand with this or have any questions always you know open a support ticket with us at websavershosting.ca um, or if you're not or if you're if you're on Twitter you just want to to reach out and say hi we're always available on Twitter at websavers I uh, hope this helps and uh, enjoy your day